In the last video, we looked at how set operations, uh, intersection, union, and complement uh, were defined. And we saw an example of how to calculate these operations for a fairly simple example here, where our universe of sets was the sets 1 through 10. OK, now in this uh, video, what we want to do is to take a look to see at how these set operations can be used to actually classify the various points of the universe here into different sets related to the properties A and B. Now, this is usually called a Venn diagram, that's the setup here, Venn diagram. Okay, now a Venn diagram is really just a, a big rectangle which is going to visualize the elements from the set of the universe. So, okay, this is the universe. Um, let's see. Now, the set A it picks out a certain part of that. So, let's designate uh, all of the elements here in A by this big black circle. And let's now uh, designate uh, the set B. So B picks out another co sub collection from the universe. And I'll go use a different color, say blue, B for blue. Uh, and so there's going to be the set B. OK, now notice now the A and the B each include some s collections of elements. and so we'd like to see which elements are going to be in each of these parts. Notice there's four different parts here. So let's go and uh, identify these parts if we can. So we should be able to identify this part here, okay, because that's pretty easy to see something that is both in the black circle and in the blue circle. We've used that word and here. So that means it's going to be both in A and in B. So this is just the intersection, A intersect B. And we already calculated what that was. That was going to be the elements uh, 6, 8, and 10. Well, if I could sneak it all on there, OK. All right, so these three elements are in the intersection. Now, what about this part over here? What is that going to be? Well, you see, it's inside the blue, so it's in B. And what? And, and it's not in, it's, it's outside the A. It's outside the black A. So that means it's going to have to be in the complement. So these are the elements that are in B and not in A. So it's B intersect A complement. Now, how do we find the elements in B intersect A complement? Well, remember how we did previously to find the elements in an intersection. You'd look through the list for B, and then we would say, OK, which of the elements are not going to be in A? Well. Elements in A are the even things, so the things in not in A would be the odd ones. So I have to pick out the things that are both odd and uh, in B. So that's going to be 7 and 9. Okay, now let's take a look at the other side over here. What is this going to be? Well, it's the things that are going to be inside of A, right, and what? And it's going to be outside of B, so it's in the complement of B. So this is... A intersect B complement. Well, how do we find those things? Well, I can go through my A list, and to say it's in B, it would be six or more, but if it's not in B, it's going to have to be five or less. So I have to pick out the elements in the A list that are five or less, so namely two and four. Okay, so notice what this gives me. This gives me three, four, five, six, seven elements. I have ten here, some are missing. So those are going to have to be the things that are outside here. So what is this going to be? It's going to be the elements which are outside A and outside B. Well, being outside of A means it's in the complement of A. And if it's outside B, it's going to be in the complement of B. Okay, so it's going to be the elements in complement of A and B. So it's going to be the ones that are in neither A nor in B. Well, how can we find that? Well. It's pretty easy to see what is not in A. I mean, sorry, is not in B. Not in B means it's from 1 to 5. So it's going to be the things that here is from 1 to 5.
with the things that are not in A, meaning they're odd. So it's going to be the odd numbers from 1 to 5. So it would have to be 1, 3, and 5. Okay, that gives me a total of 10 elements. I must have all 10 here. All right, so what we've seen here is actually how uh, we've used these Boolean operations to describe each of the uh, four pieces that allow us to uh, classify the uh, numbers from 1 to 10 uh, according to whether or not they have the properties A and B or not. Uh, of course, these could have been cities or some other things like that. You get the same sort of idea for the classification. Okay, then the next video we'll look at a, another example.